Ой. Sucks that I have to push my bike all the way to the end of the damn street. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Fozzy. Little Fozzy rides. Moto vlog. On my way to work in the wee hours. Wee hours of the morning. We've had literally a butt ton of rain. The last like two weeks. And I mean a lot of rain. Like <laughs> heavy ass rain. Buckets of rain. But yet they still want to say that we don't have enough water. I think they crazy. While I sat with my helmet and gloves on, just waiting, waiting for a break in the rain. Thinking about different topics to do. Like I always think of something and I say, oh, you know, get on the bike and talk about that and I get on the bike and I don't and it completely escapes my mind I'm silly like that but what I've definitely been wanting to talk about is BMW motorcycles and BMW riders now, if you ride a BMW, please don't take, uh, I'm not trying to make a, uh, I do not want to offend. It's simply an observation. And that is that you guys are kind of in a league of your own. I don't know if it's just something that you know when you it, was there like one BMW rider that put on every accessory you can think of on his bike and his body and he's like the grand pooba of BMW bikes so everybody's like I gotta be like I gotta be like old Beamy Because literally every time I see a BMW motorcycle, he's chock full of hard shell saddlebags, a trunk, uh, possibly a tank bag, and probably other little stash spots. He also wears the boots, the pants, the jacket, the gloves. And the helmet. Not that it's a bad thing. It's just weird to me. Because... It's all... It's like... They're all the same. I have never seen a BMW rider with anything less. Literally. Enough storage like you guys are going cross country. And the suit. It is full on. Boots, pants, gloves, jacket, neck warmer, helmet. And it's all the same kind of stuff. Like, it kind of reminds me of Jiffy Pop. Jiffy Pop is some popcorn in a little little tin foil package that you scoot, scoot, scoot around on the stove and you have popcorn. It's as fun to make as it is to eat. So, with your 
other microwavable suits. I, I just, I just don't get it. I, I mean, do people walk into the BMW dealership and buy a bike? It's like they say, yes, give me everything. Because it's all the same. And you guys are elusive. I only see is once in a while. Never, never stop. Never like, oh, you know what? I'm out for a nice little ride. I'm gonna grab myself a little Wawa uh, hoagie. Hoagie fest. You know, I don't see that. I don't see you guys stopping and getting a soda pop. I just see you guys traveling on the road. You're kind of like Sasquatch, where you might exist. We don't know. There's been sightings, but nobody can say for sure. There you go, buddy. Heck. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. And I'm not poking fun. I give respect to all people on two wheels. Hey, you know what? You're out there. You're living it. You're doing your thing. I'm with you. I'm with you, man. Do you feel the love? Because I got the love for you. There's plenty of fuzzy bear love going around for that. I dig it. I definitely I dig it. But... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Ah! There's a little bit of red. A little bit of red. A little bit. A little bit. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. I'm cool. I'm cool. Everything. Oh. Dead stuff. I think I'm going to jump on the parkway for you. I don't particularly care for the parkway. Especially in the uh, wee hours of the morning. It's not a... Not a very fun ride. It's a little chilly today. By golly. Um. With all that rain we'd have had. Uh, yesterday was beautiful and I went out. I brought the bike to work. Uh, my buddy from work has been. Um, he finally brought his bike in. Well, he finally brought his bike in and then we took a little ride. Of course, I just had the little, the little beanie on. No camera. Because, and we were going for a ride down the shore. <laughs> you know, you know, you gotta look your best. And even though I do look kind of sexy in my helmet in this helmet I mean whatever helmet I'm looking good um you know trying to look tough so back to BMWs is there is there like a dress code is there a club I know motorcycle clubs that you know you prospect for a while and or you're a hang around, whatever the hell they're calling them. And, you know, after a while, you've been, uh, you've done good, you know? You've showed your will and your drive to be part of the club. So they give you your patch, and you wear your cut, you know, your vest wear it with pride, you know what I mean? Everywhere you go. Is it like that for BMWs? Is there a special BMW club where you're like, hey man, can I get my cut and my and my patch and my three-piece? And they're like, silly, silly boy, you don't wear that. We wear this. Microwave meal uh, tracksuit. It's like the 1980s style jogging sweatsuit the one with the elastic neck it's a little baggy and it's just supposed to make you 
looks so white. It's almost what it looks like. They're not leather. They're like uh, some kind of other material. Almost like a rain suit. Ah, maybe it is a rain suit. And you guys are just always prepared. Very good. Very good. So like I said, I'm not I'm not knocking you man. I just I just don't understand it. And it's something I see, you know, I see it rarely, eh, but it's every time it's a BMW. You guys are like full on. Full on. Ready. Ready for war. Even your helmets are all the same. I don't know, is it a BMW helmet? I'm sure it's cool. I see it's got Bluetooth and whatnot on there. So I'm sure it's a pretty damn cool helmet. I'm sure it's expensive as crap. And not that I could ever afford a BMW or maybe ever want a BMW because that's just not my style. Um, but I don't know anybody that has one. Anybody that has known somebody that has one. I don't know a guy that knows a guy that knows a guy who had a BMW to, uh, to ask. It's just something that's always kind of boggled my mind. I tell you, I took my mic and it's like an old cell phone. It's a cell phone thing thing microphone thing okay like old school but it fits and it works and I kind of just had the wires running through the cheek pad and uh, I just kind of tuck the wires and make it tight against the cheek but every time I take my helmet on and off <laughs> the thing was was grabbing my eye and like scraping it and it sucked. So I've been trying to figure out different ways. And I kind of took some... Well, I didn't kind of. I did. I put some little Velcro strip <coughs> on it. And put it like right in front of my mouth. And I'm realizing that it's not right in front of my mouth. It's like under my bottom lip. And it's got a mic on both ends of this thing. So you're hearing my bottom lip and my chin huh. all at once Jesus so Mr. BMW rider if you are out there please please tell me what you think because I'm sure you're completely dressed up in the whole setup and I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing man do you do you you gotta do what you gotta do. I feel the presence in the force. Hey, buddy. Wow, you're just cruising. No sleaze. It's cold out here. I mean, nah, it, it ain't cold. I, I don't know why I'm... I, I grew up in Jersey. And... It, you know, we have... We have all the seasons. So it's not like it's been. Oh. So it's not like I've, uh, you know, I've only had to deal with, um, you know, the warm climate. And you, know, you get people in like California, where it hits like below 50, and they're like, "Damn, it's a little chilly up in here, huh?" I don't know why I complain. I think I'm like born in, you know, uh, people say like, I was born in the wrong times. I feel I was. Wrong times and wrong area. Because I love the heat. I'm good. Go ahead. All, all, uh, all winter I bitch and complain about the cold. And I'm talking, it gets it, like in the, in the lower 50s. And I'm like, uh -huh. It's so cold, I can't move my bones hurt. I instantly turn into a 90 year old man with arthritis. And I'm not just complaining, it does. It hurts. I got bad legs, 
I get don't use you. I got bad everything, and um, it's not easy when it's cold. It's highly uncomfortable. Damn, I am running super late. Um, so when it's a little, when it gets a little chilly, I I, I complain like hell. So during the summer, I don't complain about nothing because I figure I bitched all damn winter and said, I want the heat. I don't care if it was 100 degrees right now. I'd be totally happy. Well, I guess you get what you ask for. So I can't complain about it. I just don't think it's right to complain during winter and summer. Little. I'm like a child. I really am. Everywhere I go, when I go under a bridge and I see other people doing it too, you want to hear that. You would just want to hear the rumble. So you give it a little bum, a little brop, brop. <laughs> It's fun. It's fun. Is that the fuzz behind me? Usually I like to just open it up on this bridge. I, I, know that, I don't know why. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like a damn child. It's like I have to do it. It will take you right to New York. There's Staten Island and then Brooklyn's over there. Ah, the lovely city of Perth Amboy. Okay, well, hey, if you're a BMW rider and you have something to say about this, like why with all the accessories? Does that, is that does it come like that? Or do you do it on purpose? I'd love to hear. And, uh, you know, if you would like to, maybe hit the little thumbs up, the little likey-likey. And, uh, you know, maybe give a little comment comment. And while you're at it, just go ahead and hit the su subscribe button. Because I would love for you to subscribe to me. I will become a little Asian woman and I will give you crazy, crazy, crazy massages. Cause that's what I do. I dig it. I like it. Okay, boys and girls. Thank you. This episode was brought to you by the letters C and N and the numbers 5 and 7. Hmm.